Hello everyone, Pixel the Monk here, and welcome to the Monk Cave. Today we are going to be expanding the Monk Cave by building a dog and cat sanctuary. And I think I am going to be building this sanctuary probably right over here somewhere. Uh, this is like the best spot, I think. I think right here, up these stairs, will be the entrance to the dog and cat sanctuary. And how I have it in mind if I, is that I've built it in kind of like two sections. I got the dog section and I've got the cat section. So let's stop talking about it and let's just get to it, okay? All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where that torch is, that would be nine. Let me replace that with a stone block or with a dirt block. I am sorry, dirt block. <clears throat> okay, that will be the very back of our dog and cat sanctuary. Now from the center, I should be going eight out from each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Okay, that is the end right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig out the rest of this because I know how boring that, that is. You guys don't wanna watch that, so I'm gonna be back in just a second. Okay, we have dug out a good portion of the stone here, and now I'm gonna add in the dirt for some grass when it comes later on, because the dogs, the cats, they want to live in the wild. They don't want, don't want to like be stuck in a stone room. I mean, this has got to feel like it's all natural. And that's why we are adding dirt. And that's kind of like the whole theme of my monk cave here is to make it seem as though we are outside. And uh, even though there is no blue sky, uh, this is the closest we could get. So I'm going to fill in this dirt here for the grass when it comes later on. I do have it currently growing from over here. It's coming, see? Got a block right there. It's coming slowly, but very, very surely. Add in some light because it is just simply too dark. I don't want mobs spawning in here. They're going to they're gonna hurt my dogs and cats. I don't want that. Okay. Dirt is in. Now, what we have to do is replace this stone with stone block and add in a little more of a shape to the build as well. So first thing we're gonna do is place our center marker and it's gonna be right there. That is the center of this build right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Log, log. Then it goes actually back one. So this is going to be the log. Then stone. Then log. There we go. Now we've got the pattern set up. I'm going to fill in the back here with some junk that I have. I don't want mob spawning back here later on. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to do the same pattern just like this on the other side. Now let me fill these in with three total. You know what, that does not look right. So what we do is we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have a log and a log. Back here, I'm gonna put a torch. I don't want mobs spawning there later on. And then we go one, two, three, four, five. And then it's gonna be a stone here and then a log. And we are gonna rip all this out. So that we can make another log, just like that. It's off, it's off again. There we go, we got this. We got this, now it is working perfectly. What we are gonna do now is not only replace some of these uh, blocks with more dirt, but I'm gonna have to go in and take out and rip all these walls so that I can replace them with the stone blocks. So I'm gonna rip those out and be back in just a second. 
Okay, so how do we do the design of the sanctuary is quite, quite simple. We are going to use our, uh, what is this called? Chiseled stone bricks, and we are going to add them in the corners in between the two logs. And then we're also going to use it as an outline in between the logs as well, just like this. And this is going to give it a, a good look, I think. Anyway, <laughs> you'll see once we're finished, you'll see. So just like this, okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add in the stone brick stairs to the bottoms of this piece, except on this side. We are not going to do it on this side at all. Just over here. Boom. Done. Okay, all the chiseled stone blocks are in set. Now we've added the stairs to the bottom. Now we've got to add stairs for the top. Again, excluding that side of the room over there. Okay, we are done with that. Now we are going to add some stone brick to these corners over here. And you know what I forgot to bring? I forgot to bring another piece to the puzzle here. Uh, actually, two pieces. There are two things that I forgot. But first, let's let's uh, let's chisel this out because I'm going to be adding in lights. And I think the lights are going to be really cool because you won't actually see them. They're going to be hidden a little bit. Let's see if I can get that iron. Let's get this iron too while we're here. Let me get my glowstone. I'm going to hide the light right above here, just like this. And then I'm going to add in glass so that it's even not only more hidden, but it looks like light is coming out of the glass instead of anywhere else. Get all this. Glass is also going to go up here. Now the lights for here are going to actually go up one more. Create that. Lights. Then we are going to put in our brown stained glass. In all the different sections. Oh, you know what I, I forgot to do first though? Is that I forgot to replace this. We can see right through that glass. We got to change that out. So let's change it out with stuff I don't have. There we go, stone stone bricks. Let's change it out with that. Boom, 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 boom. And my stair. Gotta get that stair. And bring that brown glass back out. Boom, done. Look at that. You can't even see the light behind it. It's totally hidden. Now let's do the same thing for this side. Get rid of these stone pieces, replace it with the stone block here. And I'm going to have to go on the other side to fix the back, just like that. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All the glass is in set and ready to go. This is exciting. Now we're going to add in the cracked stone brick. But first, it's going to go stone brick at the bottom and cracked, cracked, and behind the glass here, which I keep forgetting, is going to be cracked again. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Replace that. Cracked, 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 regular. Look at that. Fantastic. Is the grass creeping up this way? It is creeping up this way. Perfect. We have got this part in. Now, what I want to do is take out the ceiling. Take out the ceiling a little bit, and we are going to add in the stair... Uh, sections that go in the very, very top of pretty much all the builds that I do in this world. I have like a stair trim and I kind of want to show you that before we get totally started. See this trim right here? I kind of outline all, all of everything of the monk cave with this wooden trim. It works out pretty well, actually. It looks really good with the dark and dark top. And then I've got kind of like a bright bottom to see where I'm going. Let's go back, empty out this ceiling here. Let's add in stairs though. Let's add in some more stairs 
uh, to kind of finish off the the look, I guess you could call it. And let's see, do I want to go in one more? Yeah, I want to go in one more. Boom, boom, done. Look at that. Look at that trim. Isn't that beautiful? It is just super snazzy, isn't it? Now what I got to do is take out the ceiling one more. And then we are going to add in some more lights. And then I'm going to start adding in some spruce leaves. Now I don't have enough spruce leaves on me this episode to actually complete the build. But we are going to get as much done as we possibly can. I also have to kind of wait for the grass to come and settle in this room. It's not too far off. In fact, let's go check uh, check it out. See where this grass is at. See, it's coming. It's coming. Very slowly, but it is coming. It is on the way. But let's get rid of the rest of this. Oh, yeah, a little bit more over here. So we're continue adding in. What? That's all, the, that's all the leaves I had. I thought I had more, honestly. <laughs> okay, that is going to do it for this episode. We have gotten a lot of progress done today. This room is like 90% done, honestly. There is not much more to this room that's left. I am waiting for the grass to come and grow in this room. And then I'm going to add in that separator that I was talking about er, uh, earlier on to kind of divide the room into dogs and cats. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this episode of The Monk Cave. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.